What's up, Slick Review fans? We're coming at you with another video. Today we're going to do a week on the wrist review of the Nike Edition Series 4, as well as take a look at some of the daily driver bands in my collection. If you are new to the channel, we do a lot of tech reviews and advice, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's get started. So guys, before we talk about these watch bands that I have here, I just want to give you a real quick couple minute update on how it's been this week wearing my Nike Edition Series 4. If you didn't watch the complete unboxing and setup video, I'll put a card up there in the corner for you to check that out. But as I mentioned in there, I upgraded to this generation of watch from the original Apple Watch. So it may come as no surprise to you that for me the upgrade has been just tremendous. Finally, there's an Apple Watch that isn't sluggish when I'm trying to change watch faces or just use it in general. Towards the end of my time with the Series Zero, I guess if you want to call it that, I was leaving it at home and wearing one of my mechanical watches or just nothing at all most of the time. But now, kind of like what the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 5 did for that line, the Series 4 Apple Watch is finally making the Apple Watch a full-blown standalone product that I think actually has a use case. The features I've enjoyed most are the nightstand mode that does trigger whenever it detects vibration. So if you were to hit the nightstand, you can quick check the time without having to fumble around in the dark to find the watch. All week I've been exclusively using the new Infograph watch face as well as the Nike ones. As far as battery life goes, I do tend to charge it every night. I leave for work pretty early in the morning and, and by the time I go to bed, generally after one day's use, I've only used about 30% battery. Now, of course, your mileage may vary there depending on how many notifications you're getting, if you're working out, things like that. As far as how it wears on the wrist, I really don't feel much difference either way. A lot of bloggers have been talking about how the less than a millimeter thickness makes such a difference. Honestly, I don't believe anyone can really tell the difference from one millimeter. To me, it, it doesn't wear any differently than the older ones, which can be a good thing because of course, as we all know, the new watches are quite a bit larger. So like I said, they really don't wear any differently. I don't notice it more or less than my previous one. So if you are still on the fence, if you have an older Apple Watch, or if you're just wondering if now's the time to take the plunge, in pretty much every case, I would say yes. Even if you have a Series 3, I think the biggest difference here is the screen and I think that alone would be able to justify an upgrade. Beyond that, this is the first Apple Watch with a 64-bit processor. What that means to you is that everything is just snappier, it's fluid, it finally feels like a finished product. So that's my real quick update guys. Again, I would say yes, absolutely update. As far as which one you get, that's a personal preference, whatever you feel you have a good use case for. Personally, I went with the aluminum I don't think there really is a good use case to have an LTE model. Most of us, especially those of us buying a product like this, most of us generally have our phones pretty close by. So again, I really don't see much of a use for the LTE models, especially with how expensive they are. Just to be obsolete in a year, I just don't think they're worth it. But again, that's me personally. I would just go with a regular aluminum version. So that's my real quick update, guys. But what I'd also like to show you are a couple of my daily driver watch bands in case you are looking to pick up a new Apple Watch and want something to pair it up with. So guys, we're going to run through my list of daily driver watch bands. We've got something for everybody here and all of the links will be down in the description. So the first one that I would like to show you are just your regular silicone watch bands. Now these are available on Amazon fairly inexpensively, right around six or seven bucks, and they have pretty much every color combination you could want. Now what I like about these are, compared to like a leather watch band, there's no break in. They're just rubber, so they just fit right away, and they're very comfortable to wear all day, especially this style that has all these holes. It just allows some breathability so you don't sweat under the watch band. So good to use like in hot weather or for workout. So these are the two that I like to use. I have this blue and white one just kind of for every day. The black and green I like to pair up with the Nike watch faces. I just think that's a good look. So again, these are on Amazon, really inexpensive. Like I said, around seven, eight bucks. And I'll have links down in the description. But these are absolutely fantastic for everyday wear, working out, anything like that. You have to have a couple of these in your collection, especially for how inexpensive they are. 
I don't think any Apple Watch collection would be complete without a Milanese loop. I've always loved this particular band. It's very comfortable, lightweight, and you can instantly put it on. It's really kind of a simple thing, but when you're going to put on the watch, you just pull it tight, let it fall, and you're done. So I just love that simplicity, and then it just stays put. And if you want to tighten or loosen it throughout the day, it's just a quick, just move it to whatever you want. No worrying about if the holes are sized right on like a leather band or even a silicone band. You can size it to exactly what you want. One reason the Milanese loop has always been a favorite of mine is because you get the nice classy metal look without all of the weight of some of the link bands that we're going to take a look at in a second. So if you want the comfort and lightweight of a silicone band with the look of a metal band, this one is a must have. You can get these on Amazon for under 10 bucks. The link I have down in the description has pretty much every color you could want. So absolutely pick up one of these Milanese bands. So when you're looking for something that's either that classic metal look, maybe that's just what you're used to, maybe that's what you've been wearing for years or longer, or you're just going for more of a professional look, then the metal link bands are a great way to go. Really the only disadvantage is the weight compared to some of these other bands that we've looked at. But again, if that's something that you either prefer or don't mind, then these are a great way to go. So the ones that I have here are in pretty much every color. Again, depending on what I'm looking for for the day, here is a nice black stainless one with a butterfly clasp. So we'll throw this one on real quick just so you can see it on the wrist. And with the butterfly clasp, it just closes like so. And what I really like about this one is it's a nice glossy black finish. Now, this one did look a little bit nicer with my previous Space Gray Series Zero, but here with the aluminum, it kind of gives it a nice two-tone look. Now, if you're looking for a different color, we do have these other two to check out. Here's kind of a Space Gray Metal Link and then Silver as well. They wear basically the same as the black one. It's just kind of which color do you want. They do have a little bit different closure, a little bit more classic if that's what you're looking for. So these are all great options. They're all priced around $20, and links will be down in the description, of course. So again, this is a good option for someone who likes kind of that classic watch look and feel a little bit heavier, but again, sometimes that's kind of nice just to have that weight on your wrist. So if this is something you're looking for, like I said, you can find them for around 20 bucks, links down below. But let's move on to the leather watch bands. Now, when I'm looking to do something a little different for the day, I usually reach for my leather cuff band. Now, this is quite a bit larger than your normal watch band, of course, and does kind of stand out a little bit more, but that's kind of why I like it. Depending on the outfit or where I'm going for the day, I do like to reach for this one, just because it's a little bit of a statement piece. Now, in the middle, it does have a cutout for the sensor array, so nothing to worry about there. And of course, like I said, you do feel it on your wrist a little bit more than a silicone band or a metal band, but it's not uncomfortable. This one has broken in very well since I've had it with my original Apple Watch, and they do have them in black and brown. So I would recommend picking this one up if this is the, the style that you like. It's only $14. It is genuine leather and definitely one that I recommend. Now, if you just want that simple, classic leather watch band look and feel, then here are a couple great options for you. Now, this one is one of my favorites just because of this nice white stitching that it has on either side. I just think that's a good accent, kind of makes it stand out from any other watch band that you see. So this one is one of my favorites. It's from Cartice, priced at $19, so really not bad for a genuine leather watch band. And like I said, this leather stitching really makes it stand out. I get a lot of compliments on this one. And they do have this exact band in black as well, if you prefer that. Some other options that I have are just these regular classic leather watch bands. I'll use these if I'm dressing up for the day, maybe if I'm going to a wedding or something like that and I need to class it up a little bit. I'll reach for just one of my simple black leather watch bands. I have one in matte and glossy finish. Again, just depending on what I'm feeling for the day. These do have this accented white stitching, which I think is a good look too. And I've had all of these from my original Apple Watch over the years, and they've held up tremendously well, which is great for how inexpensive they are. All of these are priced under $20, and again, links will be down in the description. So there you have it, guys. There's my week on the wrist follow-up review on the Series 4. 
So coming from the Series Zero, it should be no surprise that for me, this was a great upgrade, well worth the money. And honestly, in my opinion, even if you still have a Series 3, I think just the larger screen more than justifies the upgrade. But again, that's me. Don't forget, guys, we are still running the Ringy Case giveaway. I'll put a card up there to watch that video. You can enter the contest to win your pick of some awesome Ringy Cases. So make sure to watch that video and enter into the contest. Let me know which of these bands you think are the best, or if there's ones I didn't mention, maybe you have a really cool band that I might want to add to my collection. So let me know down in the comments which ones you guys like. If you found the video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.